So whenever you're doing something in the 3D viewport in Blender, using the number pad shortcut keys can be really helpful. Uh, seven for top view, one for front view, and three for side view, and then the other keys also can move you around. But some keyboards don't have numpads, and so if you don't have a numpad, I'm going to show you what you can do instead to use these shortcuts. Now, most keyboards do have numpads, but sometimes they don't, and also a lot of laptops don't have numpads. But using these shortcut keys are really important and can speed up your modeling workflow. So if you don't have a numpad, what you can do is you can actually go into the Blender settings and change it so that the top numbers are going to be used instead of the numpad. So let me just show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to go to Edit and go to Preferences, and then right over here on the Input, you can click on Emulate Numpad. Now, if you want to save this setting so that it's in all of your future Blender files, you can click on the Save Preferences button, and if you don't see that button, it might be because the autosave is turned on, so that'll autosave the preferences. So now, if I go back over to the Blender 3D scene, the top numbers on my keyboard are going to be used instead of the number pad. So I can click on 7 for top view, 1 for front view, and 3 for side view, and then I can also use all the other buttons as well. Now, there is a downside to this, and that downside is when you're in edit mode, the one, two, and three buttons are normally used to change from vertex select, edge select, and face select. So if I just turn this off and then go back over here, you can see that one, two, and three changes these from vertex, edge, and face. So you can just go up here and click on these to change from face select, edge select, and vertex select. So I hope this little Blender quick tip was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video.